Journey to Justice is a 1700 mile, 36 day bike tour. Going from the Canadian border to the Mexican border, border to border. Through hills and deserts. In order to build coalition, build community. And the campaign that calls for citizenship for all people. The Journey to Justice campaign came up after the Dream Act fail back in 2017. What we found out during those campaign was Congress members wants to use our life as a bargaining chip. Okay, well, we'll give you the pathway to citizenship but in exchange for uh, our takeaway uh, family reunification program, no more diversity visa, more boots on the ground, ICE agents, more detention center, Numerous immigrant groups were compromised in an attempt to provide a solution for DACA recipients. However, the reality is that our communities were being divided and in actuality no solution was reached. The biggest obstacle that I faced is every hill that I get to. It doesn't really get easier. I see the struggle that my fellow riders are going through and how they're pushing through, and that gives me a lot of strength. The fact that we were able to go from city to city, engaging with communities, really enabled us to create those connections that could bring about the reform that we're looking for. The biggest takeaway for me has been the power that unity has. I think that it is possible for us to really ask others to consider their voting, the way that in which they are voting. Some people told me, hey, isn't it too radical? Students fall, you can't even pass the DREAM Act. It's about, can we have a vision? Can we stick to the vision and move forward? As an Asian American female, this journey has been so empowering in that I see so many faces that look like mine and who are so passionate, risking themselves to fight for something larger. I'm a DACA recipient. So I do this for my rights, my families, my friends, my neighbors. Not just bike riding, it's about creating community. It's about keep our community safe, look after one another, and be there. Last September 5th, when DACA was rescinded, I went to um, the lawyer at school and I said, hey, listen, what do I have to do to keep, to keep my family together? And the first thing he says is, well, you can always marry a citizen. And you know what? I'm so, so, so sick of hiding, and I've done it all of my life, but it never gave me the results that I wanted. So I will not rely on a man to give me my independence. Yeah!